In this lesson we're going to convert mixed numbers to decimals, but as I mentioned in the last video, um, we'll also see some scenarios that we haven't really seen yet um, that come up when we have repeating digits in our decimals. So, um, so we'll get a look at a couple other things to watch out for. So first let's look at 7 and 5 sixteenths. Really the steps are easy here. Um, first of all we understand that the whole part of uh, the mixed number should become the whole part of the decimal, right? So we're going to have 7 point something. And then after that just go ahead and uh, convert 5 sixteenths um, into a decimal number and then we'll put that to the right of the decimal. So we'll be taking 5 divided by 16, and 16 doesn't go into 5, right? So put our decimal point there, put a 0 there. 16 goes into 50, well 16 times 3 is 48, so I'm going to go ahead and put a 3 above the 0. We have 48, get a remainder of 2, add another 0, drop it down. 16 goes into 20 one time. All right, so notice at this point we have no uh, repeating uh, remainders going on, um, but no zero remainders either, so we need to keep going. So here's 40. 16 goes into 40. Well, if 3 six times 16 was 48, um, this should only happen twice. And 2 times 16 is 32. And again, uh, we don't have an, a repeating um, situation here at all either, so... Let's continue, drop down to zero, uh, but 16 goes into 80 exactly five times. And so this is not going to be a repeating decimal, this is going to be one that terminates. And so since 5 sixteenths turn into 0 0.3125, 7 and 5 sixteenths turn into 7.3125. All right, so let's look at 2 and 3 elevenths. Again, we're going to have 2 point something. So we're going to take 3 divided by 11. All right, so 11, of course, can't go into 3. So we put our decimal point and a 0. 11 goes into 30 twice. 2 times 11 is 22. Get a remainder of 8. Take our 0, drop it down. 11 goes into 80 seven times. 7 times 11 is 77, get a remainder of 3, add a 0, drop it down. 11 goes into 30 twice, 2 times 11 is 22, some of you may see a pattern at this point, drop down the 0, 11 goes into 87 times. So let's stop here for a second, with a remainder of 3. Alright, so let's see what we have. I have a 3 here, and a 3 here, and a 3 here, right? I have an 8 here and an 8 here. And so every time that I had a remainder of 3, it was followed by a remainder of 8, followed by a remainder of 3, and so on. And so what we have here really are two, um, we have uh, repeating, but we have a sequence of two different remainders that seem to repeat over and over. Okay, so three eight three eight, and so you can see the same thing happening. We have a sequence of pairs of digits that are repeating in a quotient two seven two seven, and since I continue to get the same remainders, I'll continue to get the same numbers in the quotient. So it looks like two seven repeat forever and ever. And so what we have here as an answer is 2.27, and we're going to place a bar over both the 2 and the 7. Okay, bar over both the 2 and the 7. Okay, so now let's look at 1 and 5 20 seconds. So I understand I'm going to have 1 point something, and we'll go ahead and start dividing here. So 22 does not go into 5, of course. So put my decimal there, put my 0 there. 22 goes into 50 twice. 
44, get a remainder of 6, add a 0, drop it down. 22 goes into 60, um, again, just twice. 2 times 22 is going to be 44, with a remainder of, what do we have here? We've got 16 as a remainder. Drop my 0 down. Okay, let's see. How many times does 22 go into 160? Well, 20 goes into 168 times, but 22 is bigger than 20, so let's go ahead and guess 7. So 7 times 22, 7 times 2 is uh, 14, and so we get 154, a remainder of 6. Okay, drop down a 0, 22 goes into 60 twice, 22 is 44. 16 again, and we know that 22 goes into 160 seven times. Okay, so hopefully we kind of get the picture of what's happening now. All right, so we've got um, a remainder of 6, followed by a remainder of 16, followed by a remainder of 6, followed by a remainder of 16. Okay. This remainder of 6 produced this 2, this 16 produced that 7, 2, 7. And so this is actually a tricky one. It's 2, 7 repeating over and over, just like it was in the last example. But then we have this 2 out front here that's not a part of the repeating process. So it's important that you realize, okay, this first 2 came about from having this 5 right here. Right? And then 5 never showed up as a remainder in any of the steps. So this 2 is by itself should not be under the repeating bar. But then after that we recognize we get 2, 7, 2, 7, and so on. So then I'll put 2, 7 with my repeating bar over the 2 and the 7.